So here we are, Ragnar, Rainier 2017, Bob Stromberg, the man, the animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so Bob, I understand you uh, you had a hard ca cardiac event a couple years back. Yes. What happened? Um, five years ago in Monterey, California, I was on vacation and on a on a short run and. Basically dropped dead on the run, had a heart attack, Widowmaker, um, dropped, uh, lucky enough to have an angel watching over me that day, a uh, nurse that was also on vacation was in the area, started CPR, continued that until uh, AED arrived, uh, shocked me numerous times, Wow. got me to the hospital, um, from there put me in a uh, hypothermic coma for a few days uh, came out of it and um, about a week later had quadruple bypass wow a week later a week later so uh, from then yeah the rest is history so how did you come up and how did you run into Ironheart then Ironheart um, I think uh, I think it was you know I started googling you know, uh, cardiac athletes. When uh, when I got home and started my recovery, um, and just ran into a flat line by the finish line, and from there just kind of connected the dots to to Ironheart and uh, and started following. And a few months later, ended up uh, joining up. And then, uh, so you've been in a couple races since then. So I understand you went to uh, you did Boulder Ironman. Yes, uh, that was kind of my my end goal that I had set while I was in the hospital the night after my surgery um, I told my told my nurse Shannon that night I told her I'm gonna do an Ironman nice and uh, yeah you know, I remember you know, some baby steps and yeah we took those baby steps for the next three years and uh, 2015 did uh, completed Ironman Boulder wow did you, I gotta ask a question did you get some naysayers along the way telling you not to do it yeah, not not too many, but yeah, there's you know there's always a few people that are saying, are you sure you should be pushing yourself like that? <laughs> yeah. And you know it's it's yeah it's it's important. Just because I had this heart event, you know, it doesn't make I can still live life to the fullest. You know, and that's that's one of the things that I think is important about Ironheart is showing all those people that just because you've had this happen to you, your life isn't over. You can you can still be as good as anyone out there. Awesome. And, uh, nice. You know, just really set the example for all heart patients around. Awesome. Well, congratulations, dude. Thanks. You you are a true inspiration, Thank a, a you. true hero. So uh, you're gonna knock out some loops today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's looking scary. <laughs> it's pretty brutal out there. All right. We are out. Thanks. So here we are at Ragnar again, Ragnar Rainier 2017, and we are with Ken Camerata. And Ken, you just finished your yellow loop, which is brutal. Yes, it was. It's like 2,000, no, yeah, no, 3,000 feet of elevation gain. Yeah, nice and, job. Uh, and definitely mostly uphill, very little runnable. <laughs> So, uh, so I understand you were you had a cardiac event sometime in not too far past. Uh, yeah, three years ago. Three years ago, I had my bicuspid aortic valve replaced. Okay. So um, it was uh, shot. <laughs> did you did you know that was coming on or? Yeah. Well, yeah. When I was 38 is when they diagnosed me as having a bicuspid valve, and so we've been watching it every year. And so every year I've got echo, echocardiograms and they, they tell me, oh, it's, you know, it's getting a little worse. It's getting a little worse. We think you can go a little longer because I was asymptomatic. And then uh, three years ago I went in and I had the echo and they said, no, it's, it seems to be about the same. I mean, a little bit worse. And I said, well, you know, I'm starting to get chest pains when I run. Oh, well, maybe we should look a little more. And so, <laughs> so we went through a few other things and finally did a cardiac cath and, and when they released the dye past my valve, the, the dye just went completely backwards through the valve. The valve wasn't doing anything. Oh my god. And so he goes, yeah, that needs to come out. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I think I agree with you on that. <laughs>
So it went okay, obviously, you're here. Yep. Yep. So that's cool. Yep. Now, were you uh, were you running before? I Any? was. Actually, I started running right about the same time I found out about my back test, but it was oh, just, okay. before, just before I was diagnosed that I'd started running. And, and, and so I'd, I'd run for a few years, and then I'd taken, I had a, a knee thing that was bothering me, and I, so I took about a year and a half, almost two years off, and started again, and, and that's about when I had my, my incident. So, and you're running since? Yep. How long did it take you to start running after um, that? I started running uh, while I was going through cardiac rehab. And much to the chagrin of some of the people in the, uh, in the, in charge of the program, <laughs> they were like, really, we think you should just be walking? I said, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So, um, and, I, and they said, you're already planning a race, aren't you? And I said, yeah. And they said, well, how far are you talking about? I said, well, I've, I've got my eye on this, uh, this 15K. And they said, really start with a 5K. I started with 15K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it was fine. So I got, I got my first half marathon one year almost to the to the exact date of my surgery. Wow, nice job. So that was fun. When did you, uh, so when did you first find out or hear about Ironheart? <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> I had been, been involved in a bunch of different uh, groups online and Facebook and stuff with uh, different people and I don't remember where I came across it. Uh, suddenly I was like, oh, look at these people. I got to connect here. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Great story. You're, you're obviously a modern day hero. And um, you got what, the red loop to do and the green loop? I do. Green loop next and then red loop in the middle of the night. Which I think is going to be a little brutal. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's a little harder than we thought it was. Yeah. Everyone seems to be falling too. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, brother. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. So we're here at Rainy Ragnar Rainier 2017. Travis Cotter. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. <laughs> you just finished your uh, your red loop a little while ago. I did. That was eight eight mile. Eight miles. With a two mile kicker at the end there. You. <laughs> From what I hear. Yeah, there's a bit of a kicker. Yeah. So I understand you had a cardiac event. I don't know, how many years ago was that? Uh, the most recent part of the cardiac event was uh, three years ago. Three years ago, okay. So what what happened? Um, I had a aortic valve fail, and I had a collapse when I was at work. How old were you? I was 20... 28. So a congenital? It was congenital. I was born with what's called the aortic stenosis and a quartation in the aorta. Um, so my aorta valve itself was dysfunctional. Um, I was supposed to have it replaced much earlier, but I made it at least the 20, 26, 28 years that, you know, they were telling me that it was bad. So I was lucked out in that aspect. So you were seeing somebody at the time when, yeah. nice. Yeah. So when did you first hear about Ironheart? Um, I actually got to speak with <laughs> the, my cardiologist who happens to be the same cardiologist as Dave and Dr. Stout said, hey, you need, to, you need to get a hold of Dave. And I said, okay. Sweet. So, yeah. How long ago was that now? That was three years ago. Nice. Well, congratulations. How are you feeling? <laughs> Maybe not right now. <laughs> At the moment, I'm not tired. But uh, <laughs> overall, good. So you're back running? I am. Biking? I am. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, you've got the yellow and the green left? Yellow and green left. Nice. Right. So the yellow one's gonna be freaking brutal. That's what wonderful. Three thousand feet of gain, five miles. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> when when are you going off? Uh, I should run right around seven thirty tonight. Okay. And then you got the green in the morning. And then I got green in the morning at three roughly three thirty. Okay, gotcha. Uh yeah, cool. Alrighty, well thank you very much. Yep. And uh Good luck, dude. So we're here with uh, Kyle Scholzen with Ironheart, and uh, Kyle's another cardiac event patient, um, braving it out here on a brutal course. Kyle, tell us, uh, you actually, you didn't have surgery not that long ago. No, uh, it was December 12th. Uh, I, I was under the knife again for the second time in my life. And, uh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't yeah, catch well, that. Um, that was one or something. I had my, oh, okay. my valve repaired. I had a, uh, then you, uh, 
heart murmur, so I was born with that, and then had to be impaired when I was one, when I was finally big enough. <laughs> when, uh, that valve asked me for about 26, 27 years until it was time to, time to replace it last December, so... My goodness, so yeah. eight months away from that, or eight, whatever we were at? Eight months away, and I'm trying to tackle 4,000 <laughs> I, I don't know how. But, <laughs> oh. Well, you got the green loop out of the way, right? Yeah, got the easy one out of the way. So, so how, how did you hear about Ironheart? Uh, actually, I was in January, last, last January, I was... In for a, okay, an echo uh, just to see, make sure there is no, no clue there in my heart. Um, and the heck, his name is Chris. Uh, he was actually supposed to be on this team. Can't remember his last Chris name. McKenzie. Yeah, McKenzie. Yes. Um, he looked down, noticed my watch, the uh, Garmin, and he's like, "You running?" And uh, <laughs> said, "Yeah, I, I run." And then he told me all about. Uh, Iron Heart and Dave Watkins and uh, Amy Dave's uh, cell phone number. So called. Uh, told me about Ragnar too. And then uh, call him and she, you know, just talked to him. And then called Dave, talked to him, and nice. Here I am. So you were a runner before your last surgery? Yeah, yeah. I uh, four months before I ran the first half of the San Francisco Marathon. Ooh. Yeah, uh, got it PR. Missed nice. My, missed my goal, but uh, not the time matters. But I gotta ask, would you? Would you? What was your PR? Uh, two o four fifty three. No. Yeah. Two o four. Two o four fifty three. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, I want to go under two, but that course is way too tough. So. Nice <laughs> job, man. That's amazing. Yeah, and uh, so everything was really good there, but. Like after that, it just went downhill quickly. Uh, I was told in August it's just time. Like you've had ear repair and valve for 20, 26 years. Yeah. We were hoping for 18. So <laughs> I mean, let's just get you in change now. Now, and I did, and it's a good thing because like a month, two months before, like, I was really feeling I couldn't. Uh, and it wasn't taking long before I just get out of breath and uh, could not recover very well at all. And so it was definitely time and timed it perfectly. And, nice. Yeah. Well, nice job, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you being here and uh, being part of Ironheart. No, I'm thrilled to do it. I mean, I've never, never uh, imagined that I could. There's a lot of us around and to know that there is and we're doing Iron Man and crazy stuff like that. Just, I mean, I can't even fathom that. So. I know, and, I, and you got your red loop to go and your yellow loop. Yeah. The, yellow, the mother of all loops on yeah. the yellow loop. But. Yeah, that, that little orange one there. <laughs> but you'll knock it out of the park. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. It's at night so no one will see me walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, good luck, buddy. Right, Take you. care.